You have heard uh, speeches about American democracy all your life. Uh, and in the 60s, uh, we started to hear speeches at the presidential level about expanding American democracy to include all black voters. Uh, uh, but this is the first time I think we've heard a president going out there to give a speech to defend the continuation, the very continuation of American democracy. Well, thank you very much for having me. You know, I think you're right about that. But, you know, we've always had what I call fair weather, small d Democrats. I think back in the 1770s, uh, when the country was trying to give birth to itself, Thomas Paine called them summer soldiers and sunshine patriots. Uh, we, uh, back in the 1960s, saw people who really uh, disagreed on how the country should move forward. But they maintained their pursuit uh, of perfection. They may have disagreed on how best to do it, but they remained loyal to the country. Today, we seem to call these fair weather, small d Democrats, MAGA Republicans, people who feel uh, that only their way can be considered. And as, as Joe Biden said, if they are not the winners, then somebody cheated them out of something. I don't understand that kind of a concept. We have contests in this country all the time. We have school board elections, legislative elections at the state level, and you cannot have two people holding the same office. So when these elections are over, we tend to come together as Americans and find out how we can work together, how we can find common ground in order to keep moving this country forward. And that's what the president was talking about tonight. He does work well with Republicans. We passed legislation uh, with the Rescue Act. We got no Republicans, but we came back uh, with the um, infrastructure bill. We got Republicans for that. The chip and science bill, Republicans for that. Not the MAGA Republicans, but Republicans who see the country as a, a whole that all of us should be working together to find common ground. So the president was right to sound out uh, the notion that this country, this democracy, is worth fighting for, and that those of us who are joining him in this fight look to do so in a bipartisan manner, and we will always be reaching out to people across the aisle trying to find common drunk ground so we can leave our children, our grandchildren, a country worth having. Yeah, President Biden made it very clear at the beginning of his speech that he's not talking about all Republicans. He's making a distinction about what he calls the mega Republicans who simply do not want to count all the votes uh, that are cast in our democracy. Uh, let's listen to more of what the president said tonight. I will not stand by and watch elections in this country stolen by people who simply refuse to accept that they lost. I will not stand by and watch the most fundamental freedom in this country, the freedom to vote and have your vote counted and be taken from you and the American people. Look, as your president, I will defend our democracy with every fiber of my being, and I'm asking every American to join me. Carson Clyburn, that sounds like the kind of speech uh, you would have encouraged Joe Biden to be giving tonight. Oh, yes. No question about that. This is a great country. I've been saying this for a long time. It doesn't need to be made great again. Our challenge in this country is making that greatness accessible and affordable for all of our people. Uh, when, if it's going to be housing, health care, education, whatever it is, we need to make sure that it is accessible and affordable for and by all of the American people. And that's what Joe Biden has been all about. And that's why 
you see him moving up in the polls because people have now gotten a good understanding of what his program is all about. You can go right down through these six, I think it was five or six major pieces of legislation, reducing inflation, uh, creating jobs, bringing good-paying jobs back to America, ensuring safe neighborhoods and good schools for our children. You look at all of this legislation that we've passed, and it all adds up uh, to that. And that's what the president wants us to do. Keep working. Yes, have debate. Have disagreements. But keep working together to find that common ground. If we always agreed on everything, there would be no room to grow. We have to have exchange of ideas. And all good ideas are not found in the Democratic Party. All bad ideas are not found in the Republican Party, we all come together and seek out the best that was in all of us and see what we can do about making this country a better place to leave for our children and our grandchildren.